Hi everyone and welcome to some more Minecraft. I'm in some my little house. It's snowing. Now I have been very busy. In fact, I got a little bit carried away and then realised I hadn't recorded any of it. <coughs> so I'm sorry about that folks. We'll do a little recap here. So I've labelled boxes, moved stuff around. I think that looks quite nice around there. Um, I've sorted more storage things around and I've gone up and um, put a door in here because it looks better from the front there. As you can see I've extended the wheat farm out as well because um, it just wasn't big enough. Quite happy with the little hub here, I think that just works well. Uh, I'll probably put on a few more trees around. I've done the platform over that way as you can see I've done something else over there which we'll go and have a look at in a minute and we've done the platform that way and I'm trying to build it so far out that we can't see this place and I've gone up and put the storage in here and I've put a ladder so we can get to the roof so you can get a better look at everything from up here and I think I'm hoping to get grass up here or some pots with plants just to, to finish the area off. Now, while it was snowing, I'm thinking, oh great, I'll get I'll get loads of snow as it settles. Um, and then I'm thinking, and then I'll I'll make a snow biome and move it all over. And then I had this sudden realization that the snow will settle, and what I should be doing is putting blocks down so that it settles on it so here we are we've got a brilliant view from here sort of started it off i'm gonna to have to fill it in a little bit here i think and i'm intending to make this like an, an an island but i wanted it over where it snowed and i thought well even if we don't use them blocks with the snow on it i can actually gather them up which was an important thing to do so i'll take you over to what i have been doing there because this is quite interesting. I um, managed to bridge over, I'm going to be honest here with you, sorry about that, I thought I sorted that out. Um, I, um, I died a couple of times because I fell off the edge and I wasn't recording because it was just so boring but in retrospect I should have done. Now, oh I can't show you because it stopped, oh dear, I'm trying to rush down here to show you what it was like when I uh, when it snows because this point here is when it stops snowing and starts raining so this point here is between the snow biome and the other one because this is rain this side and snow that side and I just wanted to show you that but I can tell you it's not too far from spawn <laughs> to get here it's quite quick and um, we do see the platform and that's easy to follow so I bridged all the way over here I still haven't quite quite decided if I'm going to put railings on it or not and I keep changing my idea for this area because it's my version of a snow biome at one point I thought of doing like a, a giant um, snow dome globe where you shake it and it, and it snows and I was, but I could get it round I've done domes before it hasn't worked out and then I thought well I can't make it and I didn't get much snow did I fall at one, one piece here I thought this would all be covered and then on the other side over here I was thinking I would just do like a, a wall around it maybe and now I'm thinking maybe not so I've got I've got a few plans but basically I need to cover it all with dirt anyway and I, I mean, I quite like the idea of a wall all the way around. So all you see is a snow wall. Um, but I don't think it's big enough. I think it kind of needs to be double the size. Because I would like to have um, igloos over here. And eventually snowmen walking around. And we will need to do some sort of railing. Stop them falling off the edge, obviously. Yeah, so that could be a bit of a problem, couldn't it? Hmm. I quite like the higgledy piggledy. I nearly said, let's go back and sleep and make it day. Ha, ha, that's not going to work, is it? Because <laughs> I haven't got a bed. So um, I'm hoping we can see some spiders up here and that we can go down and get some string and then we can make the string into wool and then make our bed. And then we won't have to worry about daytime and nighttime. 
So, I mean, it is quite nice to look out on it, but I, 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 I'm tempted with the walls. Just do snow walls up, and then it's a bit of a uh, an interesting thing to walk into. So you're almost walking into an igloo because it's all got the, the snow sides around it. But it will snow inside it, so it will look a bit like a globe. Now, let's have a look and see if we can see any spiders materialising. Oh, it looks like a creep, two troopers over there. But no spiders. There's quite a few bombs we need to do that we can do just here because we've got the planes there so we can obviously do a planes over there. It doesn't have to be over the top of where it is but I think with what we've got around here we should incorporate it to start with so this is going to be obviously the snow one. And then we've got the planes. So we've got the dark wood um, forest with the the mushrooms when we get our self uh, pickaxe we can um, transfer them up we'll have to venture out to get to a desert to get the sand that's going to be fun go backwards and forwards I also like to go and find the clay by my also like to find a mushroom one but we need to do that when we've got the the snow we can still see I'm just seeing if you can see it in the dark there we go away so I've been trying to get far enough away so that you don't see it like i said i don't think i did it this way i think it's the other way I, I did it yeah it's the other way but it doesn't look nice from a distance i think that looks really nice i um i i altered the side of it to make it fit better because it just looked higgledy piggledy it looked it looked ugly i just couldn't stand it i had to change it and then i did a few designs and i thought oh you're gonna be bored senseless me go back and forwards and change my mind on it so in the end i just did it off camera and then I got so carried away with it I, I literally forgot I hadn't said anything about it but I did a glass roof at the top it's got snow on it <laughs> it's funny because uh, I just fin thought that finished it off and I think for a starter home it's quite an elaborate starter home isn't it let's have a good look from here yeah so it's good and, and having them left the door open having the doors and the windows match just it just ties it in nicer for me and I didn't do that one with a window and a door because I'm obviously putting chests there and I didn't want to, to, to block it so our wheat farm's doing very very whoa no it's the wrong thing it's doing very well I went whoa because of the torches <laughs> I knew that the water gets rid of my torches and I'm paranoid still about creeper coming up blowing place up uh tears will ensue if that happened folks tears will tears will happen if a creeper blows up the face i've spent so long on this i've really enjoyed it actually it's been great fun and it's something i i, I I'm, I'm really keen to to do and i think because we've got so many episodes we can we can do it really elaborate i'd like a rainforest here as well and i have noted that the height is two five six Let's see how far we are up it's 148 so we've got another 150 blocks to go so we're fine because i wanted my trees to grow up high and i was a little bit worried that we would touch the top some of them we can make make higher so the mushroom one would be nice to be a higher up wouldn't it let's put my seeds back in my box and then we'll walk over the other side which is the side that i think we can get and then hopefully by that stage um the um trying to work out which side it is hopefully by that stage We'll be able to see some spiders now that's I, i've gone a long way and I, i'm hoping to go further and some of them i'd like to link up with track <laughs> how that's going to work out but there you go another ambitious plan of mine is to have a track going from one to another because as i say i would like them to sp just to spread out as well so i kept going until i couldn't see the base let's just turn around yeah you can still see it i think that's fantastic i'm really sure that almost looks like it's floating i'll do that and then you can see it almost looks like it's floating on its own over there but i had to build it over the snow because obviously i wanted it to snow and i could have gone out over that way to it i don't know why i didn't actually but there you go we've gone that way that's the way we've got let's see if we can be brave enough to to run i don't think i'm quite brave enough to 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 to, to, leave, to jump okay so this is the end yeah yeah you see it's gone but we'll go further out i think with it it has taken 
an awful lot of half slaps this has um, and I've realized just doing the, the, the little platform for the snow which has got to be a lot bigger I'm going to need an awful lot of snow to do it so I have been mining down in the depths uh, I think that's obviously something I'll be doing off camera because it's just it's just so boring to see and I'm using the lava to fuel so I'm not using the coal which has it's been great I think it would have just taken even longer to have done it that way or if I'd done it with the charcoal method um, to, to, to cook it all up so the lava is great and I found another pool of lava Let's see if we can see a spider when we're coming down here uh, there would be loads of it around it's a bit clear around here because I did oh, there's a zombie and a skeleton over there um, I did, I cleared some of, a lot of the snow away um, I'll drop some of these trees down as well because I want to try and get everything from at the top now so I can see about to see a spider the creeper there's a spider when you want one eh? never around oh, skelly I we can attack the skelly from this side maybe <laughs> This is arrow went at it, didn't it? Where'd he go? It's stuck down the bottom there. I can hear clickety bones. Yeah, there he is. He's a sniper. Come on, he can't get up from there, I don't think. He can fire, can't he? Still, look at him being a clever little, a little skelly there. Um, oh, spider, 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 spider alert, folks, spider alert. I mean, there's no guarantee it's going to drop a, a string when we do kill, kill it. It's a bit like the Enderman and the... I'm going to have to get a gate here. I've said this every time to myself as I've passed by the gate. There it is. There's no guarantee, like the Enderman, that it will drop a string. Oh, it has. Excellent, let's go and put that back safe. Make ourselves a gate, possibly. I've got a spider eye. I don't know if we'll need a spider eye for anything, but we have one. Okay, so let's put that in the box. It's two. I think it's a whole box, a whole square. Might be four, but we'll need three of them, whatever it is. Um... So let's make that um, gate. Let's see if I can remember how to do a gate. I think it might be in the middle. Is the gate with the sticks? Uh, it's going to make a fence. But oh no, it did it make the gate? Look at me go. So we need a, a fence post so I can distinguish <laughs> where the gate is. I'm going to have another look because spiders do come out during the day as well as night. They're just not aggravated at night. So we'll put our gate here and then to mark it off, we'll do this with it. Yes, that's, that's going to make life so much easier, folks. Right, so we haven't got a sword. We've got our axe um, so let's get our axe out which is our weapon no nope, lots of chickens i'm afraid but no spiders so that's a shame isn't it hmm. i was hoping we'd find a few to be honest with you see where they might be they might be hiding underneath the dark oak trees there again, we know what else hangs over there, don't we? Hangs out there, mmm, creepers. There it is over there. See, it needs to be a little, I quite like it being busy like that, but I do think it needs to be a little bit thicker so we can come out like that. I'd like it not to be a square, like the hub. That's what this place is going to be called, the hub. I'd like it to be like, like a floating island, really. 
I mean, I probably won't do them all like that way. I, I mean, I'll do this one more jaggedy. I might do the desert one more rounder. Be quite nice. I'd like some with waterfalls coming off them. Um, rainforest sounds great for that, doesn't it? I can't see any more spiders. So what I'm going to do is, going while we're down here, I'm going to show you what I've been up to downstairs because this is quite something my elaborate mining operation down here I've decided it's better to mine at the bottom at 11 just just mine it all out because I'm getting so many other resources I'm coming across redstone I'm coming across diamonds and I've picked up a few emeralds because we're in that area and I also find loads and loads of iron, so I've been able to use iron picks, and it just goes so much quicker with iron picks. If you're doing this, folks, and you're you're labouring around with stones, upgrade, upgrade, because it's just so much better. Keeping my diamonds because I want to get diamond armour, uh, obviously for enchanting eventually, because we will be wandering off once we get our bed situation sorted, and we kind of need two beds. So I've got a bit of iron already in there. Let's pick up the stone. So what I've been doing is just fitting this in with the with the lava bucket. And it's just brilliant. It's just been going really quickly. Really in here. So look, we've got 17 diamonds. Uh, two diamonds. We should take them upstairs with us. Um, I had the mushrooms down here because I wasn't sure if I was still eating mushrooms, but we were fine with the bread now. Uh, still picking up all the coal because of the XP. Um, so this is the lava light that's that's slowly going down because I'm using it up. But luckily for us, there's another lava light down here, and obviously this is all, <laughs> this is all my digging out. So when that lava light is used up, we can move down here and use this one. And I just strip mine, basically, and then when we find something, dig out that whole area. And, um, yeah, we find loads of different bits and pieces down here. So this is my this is my mining operation. And when you probably next come down and see, it will be mined out even further. Uh, whoa, nearly went out of... He went into the lava then goodness me that would have been a nightmare so folks um thank you so much for watching my ad my um episode i'm just strings at the top isn't it i'm just going to go and see how much string we've got right at the top and see if we can make one wall but we're going to have to get a lot of string. I mean, either that or we... I haven't seen any sheep. I've had a look up there while I've been... <laughs> while I've been endlessly placing slabs. I haven't seen any sheep from where I am. So I don't think there's any sheep in the nearby area. Which is a real shame because, obviously... I've got my shears on me. Just check see if there's anything in there. Sometimes I, I pop things up on the way up when I've realised I should have put them at the bottom. It's always better to, to check. I hope that's all okay there. So, like I say, actually, I thought that was a sheep there. It's me saying there's no sheep, but there's. Get that egg because um, I want to start my chicken farm up there with eggs. Okay, I think it'd be nice to have chickens up there. They're the easy ones to get up there because you know, I might have to break quite a lot of eggs, but at least um, you know, eventually you're going to get a chicken. And we only need two, we only need two because then we can breed them. I did this once, this is this is this is funny. I don't know, I fell, but luckily I fell when I was halfway up or something, so I was like half a heart or something something silly and I managed to get back up again but I always looked round and I just I don't know how I fell off it it was weird so we were saying goodbye weren't we and here I am still rambling on as per usual I think it would be an other <laughs> so that's five I don't if it's not four we're in trouble folks aren't we ah it takes four four 
So there you go, our first block. <sighs> Very precious first block of wool. So it does work, but it's going to take a while. That's all I'm saying. It's going to take a while to do. So we've got a nice selection of, of diamonds now, isn't it? So we'll put that in there as well. I know I've got some over here. It's just to fuzzle me. So thank you for watching and this time I am saying goodbye <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Bye!